Everybody, welcome back to Lost in Fishing and in today's video will be top essential things what you need for night fishing. First essential thing is rods and reels. <laughs> Don't scare the fish from our swim. Oh yeah. So rods and reels is going to be the first essential thing you need. I've got a Nash Dwarf. Noah has got uh, Shimano Tribal X2s. That's these ones, and then I've got which will big pit reels. Yeah, I've got some dodgy reel. Uh, <laughs> and then basically, uh, we've got a video. What will be in the top right corner of top five reels. best and big best rods oh, under yeah, hundred pounds. Rods, rods and reels. There is. There's both of them. Oh yeah, there's reels. I'll put them in the top corner now. Yeah. So go check them videos out, but wait. Don't don't go watch. Them <laughs> out, don't, 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 wait till the end. After, after this video. Um. So yeah, rods, reels. That'll be the first thing you'll need to even get started. Second essential thing is going to be your bar tom. So you know when you get indicated when you have a carp on. So that's just them. Uh, Noah's got different ones to me. And you just have some bank sticks holding them up. Yeah, I've, I, you can have got pods, bank sticks. I've, I've got, I don't know. Yeah, it's like a T-ball and then you can just get single sticks. I've just gone, I used to have T-ball but I just think they're all too close. But with this you can just put it how you like it. So I've got just set bank sticks and... Um, yeah, that's your second thing, what you'll need. Right, so your third thing, what you're going to need is your tackle bag, luggage, and just tackle box and that. So that's just a small standard one now. I've got PVA bags, hook, shrink tube, bit of braid, uh, hooks. Comment down below if you'd like to see inside of our tackle boxes, yeah. and we'll do a video on that. So that's just a little view. We've got uh, lead clips and lead sleeves and all that jazz. And then it's got bait and... It's messy at the minute because we're already fishing. This is my box for... Battle arms. Battle arms. Got this is rig safe. And there. Uh, ground bait, ground bait. Some other luggage bits and bobs. Uh, that's just bait stuff there in this pocket. Yeah, so the second thing you'll need is uh, luggage no, slash... Third oh, thing. third thing you'll need is luggage slash tackle. Yeah. Right, so the other thing, the other essential thing that you're going to need is some scales some cheap they're not expensive scales at all they're just a decent they well they do us fine so that's them uh they do us perfectly fine they're not mega expensive and then this sling here is um, a chub sling it is good quality it's got a foam so it like floats on the water if you catch one at night time and you just don't want to get it out yet and take pictures in the morning so that's uh, this there and then the cradle itself here, which is what me and Noah use the cradle instead of an Onuki mat. It's a lot better, it's supported off the ground and it's just a lot more comfier for the fish overall. And safer. And safer, yeah. Uh, so that's that, so we'll move on to the next thing. The fourth thing is bivvies and brollies. So, this is uh, my bivvy. You've seen just it in videos and whatnot. It's a good bivvy, I like it. It's it's a one man, but it's big for a one man. Uh, yeah, we'll show you a clip of that now. Yeah, it's uh, very light and that, and it's it's good. It does me quite good. And then Noah's Brolly, uh, which is the Fox R series. We've a, got a, a review on it, which you'll see in the top corner. And we'll show you a quick clip of this now as well. Yep. So that is the Bivy and the Brolly. And whilst we're here, the fifth thing, nope, yeah, fifth thing is. Bed chairs, bed chairs and sleeping bags. Uh, so this is Noah's bed chair. I haven't got my bed chair yet. <laughs> I just sleep on the floor if you want just go an easy option with a sleeping bag. Uh, so this is Tracker Big Snooze sleeping bag. Like again, you don't, you won't need to get as much as an expensive sleeping bag if you just use a standard camping one. Yeah, there's a video for that top corner as well. Yeah, and the bed chair. There's a video on bed chairs, so that will be in the top <laughs> corner too. Um, so yeah, that is that. But some people just sleep on a bed chair instead yeah, of a bivy and a brolly. They literally sleep on a bed chair on the side. What well, I'm going to try out one day. Yeah. So probably next session. Yeah. Uh, so that's the the bed chair and the sleeping bag. So they'll be all in the corners for videos that we've done on them. So we'll move on to the next thing. So also is you'll need some kind of stuff to carry all, all of your equipment. So a barrow, a trolley. Anything that fits on, they all range from prices from, like, you can get a cheap trolley for, like... Fiver from Home Bargains. <laughs> yeah, exactly, from a fiver and up to a grand if you want some electric. <laughs> this is just a 130 quid, uh, decent yeah. one. This is, this is sound for us, it's, 
Yeah. Just have everything on. And yeah. we just give each other an answer if we're using it. Yeah, well. just do a bit of swaps because we have to walk about 20 minutes to get to the swim. I know. So, uh, like I said, yeah. Barrow, trolley, anything to carry all your equipment on. Right, so this is the last tip, is probably one of the most important tips because you need food if you're overnight. Um, and your cuppers. So just a normal kettle here. A camping uh, kettle and a camping stove. Yeah, and a camping stove, and you've got to have a pot <laughs> noodle. If you don't, right, I can't stress this enough. If you don't have a pot noodle, when you're fishing on the bank, you're going wrong. You need a pot noodle, it's essential. I'm not, I'm not even joking. You need a pot noodle, your kettle and stove. And that is the last tips. So please make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment, go follow us on Instagram, go check out Patriots Cart Baits. If I've said that right, I'm pretty sure they will be at the bottom of the description. And uh, go give him a follow if you want to buy a bait from him. Just go and uh, DM him. So thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.